So I just came from Publix. And you can see from this receipt, the food prices are ridiculous. I got um, 18 eggs, $7.99, $7.99 for 18 eggs. Those prices are just keep going up and up and up. Ground turkey, ground turkey. That's three pounds, ground turkey, $11.99. Now, I know that you looking at my receipt and you see that it says EBT, EBT. So yes, I'm paying with food stamps. I don't wanna have to pay with food stamps. I'm paying with food stamps because Joe Biden is in office and the inflation is continuing to go up and up and up. Before Joe Biden was in office, I got myself off of food stamps. For disclosure, I still had it for my child, but I didn't have it for me. I got myself off of it. I wasn't on food stamps for um, uh, I wasn't on food stamps for a couple of years, and then Joe Biden got into office, and I saw prices kept going up. So I reapplied for food stamps for myself back in. I want to say either October, I think October, October of last year. And prices are just continuing to go up now. Um, and this isn't a flex. This isn't something I'm proud of. This is just what reality is right now. And I know you all are feeling it as well. Inflation is going up. Prices at the grocery store are going up. Prices at the gas pump are going up. Are your wages going up? No. So you got everything around you going up. Rent is increasing. Everything around you is going up except for your wages. So how are you supposed to offset these prices going up? Um, it's difficult. You're going to have to find something else to do on the side if you have time to do something else on the side. And I talked about this before about me being on Section 8. I don't want to be on Section 8. A lot of people are proud of it or I guess not not shamed of it or, you know, they take advantage of it. I'm going to take advantage of it for right now. I wanted to get off of it. But then what happened? Prices, rent has increased significantly. Where I was staying before, um, the landlord, the um, owner of the house was getting $1,253. She bumped that price up to $2,000. $2,000. I'm telling you, so... As much as I want to get off public assistance, and I am working myself towards that. I'm not just staying on and trying to be on forever and okay, um, this is just what it is. I, you know, this is just what it's going to be. No, I am moving myself towards um, financial freedom. But for right now, if these prices continue the way they are, why am I going to stress myself over trying to um, go apply for somewhere where me working 40 or 50 fucking hours a week is not going to take care of my food bill, my gas bill, my rent, if the government is saying they're going to do it for me. So, and I know y'all don't want to hear this. I know y'all going to work and paying your taxes. Your taxes are going to people like me. Your taxes are going to people like me who take your tax dollars and we spend it on food. We spend it on gas. We spend it on housing. We spend it on medical because you have the wrong party in power. You need to vote those Democrats out and you need to vote in Republican. Now, you obviously want to do your research, want to make sure that you're voting the right person in. But every time you have to, you, we are old enough, my generation, we are old enough now. If we keep up with who's been in office, if you, if you vote and you keep up with who's been in office um, at certain times, you, you know what happens with the economy. When the Democrats are in, the economy is bad. Inflation rises. Food prices rise. Gas prices rise. We're talking about what we can feel immediately, what we can feel in our households. The person may come off as nice. Oh, they're such a nice person. Oh, let me vote for them again. Oh, they're black. Let's vote. Let's vote for them because they're black. Fuck that. You think these people give a fuck about you? They don't. Fuck your skin color. They don't care about your skin color being black. Oh, we the same. Let's look out for my people. I'm going to vote for him because he's my people. No, they don't give a fuck. So, you need to stop voting with your emotions. 
or you need to stop voting because they look like you. They got the same skin color as you and you need to vote with your wallet. Vote with your wallet. What is your wallet saying? You want to vote for the Democrats? Okay, your wallet going to pay for it. Vote for Republican. You may not like the person as their personality. I know a lot of people have issues with Trump. Who knows if he's going to be the Republican nominee? But do they have do they have the wherewithal to bring the economy back to where it's something that you can manage, back to where you can have some savings into your pocket, back to where you don't have to be spending your tax dollars on people like me who take an advantage of the system and is going to um, use your tax dollars to pay for my food, pay for my Medicaid, pay for my, uh, pay for my housing, pay for my gas. You want that or you want your money to go to your family? You don't want your money going to your family plus other people, fucking strangers who you don't know. You don't want that. I remember when Trump, um, after he was already elected, and he was talking about the food stamp thing. You know, a way to kind of get people to not want to be on food stamps. Okay, well, you want to be on food stamps? Then we're going to tell you what it is you can buy. Uh, people panicked. We're going to tell you what you're going to buy. Okay. That didn't go over so well. So half, you can do what you want to do with it. The other half, we're going to provide that food for you. Well, people don't like that. But if people don't like it, then they will have the motivation to go out and make their own fucking money so they can go out and buy what it is that they want to buy. And the government not tell them what it is that they can buy with their, with their money. Right? And when Mitt Romney was running against Barack Obama, he said something about the food stamp thing. That they were gonna, um, they were gonna uh, dismantle the food stamp program. Something along those lines. A leaked tape, a leaked audio. And when I heard that, I was like, "Oh, I better make sure I go and vote for Barack Obama. I better make sure I go vote for Barack Obama because I don't want my food stamps taken away." That was the mentality I had back then. I don't want my food stamps taken away. Let's make sure Romney don't get into office. That was my thought process back then. That's the wrong thought to have. It's people like who have those kind of thoughts that you're paying for. So you don't want them in office. You don't want to be paying for other people. Or vote Republicans in. And this may sound strange from a person like me who is able to get these different benefits because of Democrats being in office. You think if it was a Democratic president that he would have said um, students with college debt get debt relief? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. And what did that do? That just raised prices. But hey, I'm a student. Well, I was a student with college debt. I took advantage of it. I got a Perkins um, a Pell Grant. Okay, I'm going to get $20,000 taken off of my student loan. But you know what? Even with that $20,000 relief, my student loans is still going to be in the six figures. So it really doesn't really do anything to help me, really. So I'm just saying... Look at these goddamn food. Look at this. Look at this food bill. Seven ninety nine for some eggs. Eleven ninety nine for three pound of ground turkey. And then you got these pepper strips. Yes, this is um, this is Publix, and we know Publix is a bit expensive, more expensive than the other grocery stores. But even Target and Walmart, their prices are expensive. So I'm just saying, election is coming up. Think smart. Think smart. Don't look at color. And you may be a registered Democrat. I know a lot of my following are Democrats. But I'm telling you, you may want to think about the party that you're in. It may be time for a switch. Or at least if you're not ready to switch now, you need to see what's going on with this presidency. You need to see what's going on with this administration. And you need to do something different. Do something different. Vote Republican. 2024 will be here before you know it. If you don't like the job that the Republicans have done between 2022 and 2024, then go back and vote for Democrat in 2024 if you feel like the Republicans didn't do their job to, to, to um, do something to ease the pain on your wallet. But if you like what they do within the next two years, then you know, oh, okay, well, maybe I do need to vote Republican again. Maybe I do need to vote for a Republican president. I'm just saying. Be smart. 
in your wallet is what's feeling the most pain right now. 